Hi, welcome to the CSS1 program. Our topic for today is the integral parts of computer systems. In this topic, we will discuss the following. What is a computer system, computer peripheral and devices, integral part that builds a computer system, and computer backports and panel. Computer is derived from the word compute meaning to calculate and perform arithmetic operation. A computer is an electronic device, operating under the control of instructions stored in its own memory that can accept data, input, process the data according to specified rules, produce information, output, and store the information for future use. Now, what is a computer system? A computer system is composed of input, output, and processing device. It processes the data and instruction given by the user or the people where. Any digital computer carries out five functions in gross terms, takes data as input, stores data slash instructions, process the data and converts it into useful information, and generate output. Here's the diagram that shows how the data is processed. For example, you are to type a paragraph using the keyboard then the CPU will process it and the paragraph you typed will be shown on the monitor. If you want to save it, you will save it on the storage device. Computer system consists of hardware and software. A hardware is the physical parts that build a computer systems while the software is the organized collection of computer data and instruction that the computer carries out. Computer hardware is divided into three parts, input device, output device, and the processing device. Input devices are any piece of computer hardware equipments that provide data information to the computer system. Examples of manual input devices are, keyboard, numeric keypad, pointing device, or mouse, remote control, joystick, touch screen, scanner, graphics tablet, microphone, digital camera, webcams and light pens. Output devices are any piece of computer hardware equipment used to display result of data processing carried out by the computer system. Examples of output devices are, CRT, TFT, LCD, or LED monitor, printers, speakers, plotters and multimedia projector. Process device is a system device that process all the information. It is powered by CPU or central processing unit which serves as the brain of the device or computer system. Some of the most common processing devices in a computer are the CPU or the central processing unit, GPU, or the graphics processing unit, motherboard, network card, sound card and video card. Now let's look what's inside the computer systems. The motherboard, it is a circuit board that contains the electrical circuitry for the computer. All computer components slash parts of the computer are connected to the motherboard. Here's a closer look at the motherboard with parts. CPU or computer processor is the one that holds and process data and instruction in the computer also known as the brain of the computer. The disk drive, disk drive is a technology that enables reading, writing, deleting and modifying of data on a storage disk. There are several examples of the disk drive. One of the example is the hard disk drive. It is the main data storage inside your computer. Operating system, application software, and most common files are stored inside the hard disk drive. There are two types of hard disk drive. IDE or the Integrated Development Environment, it's the old HDD that uses pins, 
while SATA or the Serial Advanced Technology Attachment is the new technology HDD that uses slot. Another example of disk drive is the CD slash DVD drive. It is used to store, read, write, and modify data in compact disk. There are two types of CD slash DVD drive, first is ROM or the read-only memory, it use only to store and read data while the RW or rewritable is used to store, read, write, and modify data. Floppy disk drive is also an example of disk drive. A floppy disk or floppy diskette is a type of disk storage composed of a thin and flexible disk of a magnetic storage medium in a square or nearly square plastic enclosure lined with a fabric that removes dust particles from the spinning disk. Computers need a floppy drive to read floppy disks, and many modern computers are no longer supplied with a floppy disk drive because we now work with much larger files. RAM or Random Access Memory is the hardware in a computing device where the operating system, OS, application programs, and data in current use are kept so they can be quickly reached by the device's processor. RAM is the main memory in a computer, and it is much faster to read from and write to than other kinds of storage, such as a hard disk drive, HDD. RAM was originally asynchronous because the RAM microchips had a different clock speed than the computer's processor. This was a problem as processors became more powerful and RAM couldn't keep up with the processor's requests for data. In the early 1990s, clock speeds were synchronized with the introduction of synchronous dynamic RAM, or SDRAM. By synchronizing a computer's memory with the inputs from the processor, computers were able to execute tasks faster. However, the original single data rate SDRAM, SDR SDRAM, reached its limit quickly. Around the year 2000, Double Data Rate Synchronous Random Access Memory, EDRSRAM, was developed. This moved data twice in a single clock cycle, at the start and the end. DDRSDRAM has evolved three times, with DDR2, DDR3 and DDR4, and each iteration has brought improved data throughput speeds and reduced power use. However, each DDR version has been incompatible with earlier ones because, with each iteration, data is handled in larger batches. Another integral part of a computer system is the power supply unit. It supplies electricity to the entire computer system. It converts alternating current, AC, into direct current, DC. There are three types of power supply unit. First is the AT power supply which is used by very old PC. Second is the ATX power supply which still used by some PC and last is the ATX2 power supply which is the commonly used today. Take a look at the different connector used in the computer system. Another integral part is the expansion cards. It is a piece of additional card slash board used to add extra function to your computer system. Examples are video card, sound card, network card. A network interface card, NIC, is a hardware component without which a computer cannot be connected over a network. It is a circuit board installed in a computer that provides a dedicated network connection to the computer. It is also called network interface controller, network adapter, or LAN adapter. A video card, all called a graphics card, display card, graphics adapter, or display adapter, is an expansion card which generates a feed of output images to a display device, such as a computer monitor. A sound card is an internal expansion card that provides input and output of audio signals to and from a computer under control of computer programs. Wireless network interface cards are designed for Wi-Fi connections and often have an antenna to provide better wireless reception for the computer. Now, let's rake a look at the computer back ports and panel. Here's the back panel of a computer. There are different ports. It was PS2 port or the keyboard port, USB ports, serial port for dial-up modem, VGA port for monitor. 
It also has port for speaker, line in and microphone. It has PS2 port for mouse, Ethernet port for network, LPT1 printer port for printer and game port for joystick. Here's the closer look at different ports. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and see you soon.